going live on the app. Oh my gosh. Pre-orders are live. This is so exciting, Essential Stencil fans. Hello, my name is Grace here from the Comfy Nest with Grace. I am super excited to share with you today some more with these new rub-on transfer designs from Essential Stencil. Can you believe it, you guys? We have been Essential Stencil fans and using their products for years, and they're coming out with some new stuff for us to play with and create with and make all things pretty with. So let's do it. Let's play today. Um, please say hello in the comments. Today, toward the end of my live demo, there will be a giveaway for three sets of stencils to three viewers who are here. So make sure that you say hello. That's how they know that, you're, that you are here, and they'll pull from the comments. Also, replay watchers, you have another chance to win. Even if you're not catching this live, make sure that you comment replay because Essential Stencil are fabulous and they will give another set out to a replay watcher. So hang tight. I'm going to grab this feed on my iPad here. Make sure I can see us because I want to see what you can see and make sure that you can see. Is this in your way? No, it's not. That's my iPad. Okay. Hello, Miss Lori from Elmira, New York. Hello. Hello. I drove through Elmira many, many times. Um, I went to college in Pennsylvania in Erie, but lived in Boston. I grew up in the Boston area, so drove through many, many times to get home and back, um, or the Elmira area, I should say. Hey, Louise from PA, speaking of Pennsylvania, my Pennsylvania friend. Hello, Tracy in PA and Janet. I do see some of my text BFS in the house. There's Kimberly. She's sprinkling because it's exciting. Can you believe this? Okay, there's like a whole lot of stuff going on here. New stencil designs for fall. Super exciting. And if you're a Halloween lover, lots, it's not just stencil, is a Halloween lover too. I happen to know that little behind the scenes um, secret. So they, they always have lots of Halloween stuff to pick from. This is a new line of products though, the transfers. And these are rub-on transfers. They're super, super easy to use, you guys. Um, what you get is you get this, it's a 12 by 16 sheet, and you get all a bunch of designs, and it comes with a stick so that you can apply it. Um, here's another sheet. So I wanted, I printed something off from you, and I got this from the app today. Um, so Essential Stencil, there's two, this is live now. If you have the app, please don't leave me now. <laughs> that would make me cry. I'm going to show you some cool things. And there's no need to leave the live, the opportunity to hang out with us live and to see this and get a chance to win stencils at the end of this um, because they're taking pre-orders today. So they're, they're not going to sell out of pre-orders. Pre-orders today, they're going to ship out in about 13 days, but between now and I'm not even sure when the pre-order period ends, but you can pre-order today from the app right now and then from the website at midnight, okay? So if you have the app and you go to the rub-on transfer section, I printed this out to help you because I, I wanted to know and I asked this morning, there are, I got two sets, two sheets to sample and to show you. And if you've been watching all week, the other ambassadors, Melissa, Sharon, um, Melissa, <laughs> Sharon and Amanda have all been showcasing this stuff all week. And, you know, Amanda had this really big pumpkin I didn't get in my set. So I said, you know, how many sheets are there and what do you get in a pack? So go to the app. There are four packs. One, two, three, four. You can buy them individually for $15.95 for two sheets of designs, or you can buy them all in this bundle right here, and you get a discount when you pre-order the bundle, you get 15% off. So if you plan on buying all or most of them anyway, do the math, it may benefit you to go ahead and get the, the whole bundle of them. Because instead of paying $63.80 when you add the four up, you're going to pay $53.95, but... If you use one of the ambassador codes, mine is the Comfy Nest. If you use the code the Comfy Nest in the app, in the um, or on the website, you're going to get an additional discount of our ten percent. So that's how it works out, and the designs are different. So we have one, two, three, four sets of designs. One of them is a lot of sunflowers. The other one has a mix. This one has um, lots of florals and wreaths, and I know this is really small but it was the only way I could think to like give you an explanation of what's available and what your options are. 
Today, I'm going to be playing with the set that I got and showing you a couple of things that you can do with them. You are going to be a uh, a uh, uh, maze at all the things you can do with these rub on transfers, you guys. Hey, Mandy Lee from Texas. Hello, hello. There's another Texas friend, Miss Betty. Brenda's here from Minnesota. I'm your North Dakota friend. <laughs> Brenda, I am in Devil's Lake, North Dakota at the Comfy Nest with Grace. That's the name of my business. The link is in the description of the video and Essential Stencil has got the link pinned in the comments. So use that link, use my code, the Comfy Nest to get your discounts. Grab the bundle if you want it all. If you just want to try it, if you've never used it before and you want to try it, you can grab one, pick one of your favorites. You're going to get two full sheets of transfer designs. And you guys, the colors, they're watercolors, which are like seriously my absolute favorite. It's what I'm most drawn to are these watercolor illustrations. Um, they're just beautiful. And you can see the detail in these, you guys. They're so gorgeous. Lots of colors. They are going to be such a nice complement to the stencils that we already have and we can mix and match designs. It just gives us so many more options. I cannot wait to see what else. This is the first time that Essential Stencil is offering these. Um, they're really, really economical compared to other brands. I've been using Rub-On Transfers for a while and I, I do buy from other brands. Now that Essential Stencil has some, I cannot wait to see what designs they come up with because I will want to like gobble them all up. Look at this pumpkin gourd thing right here. This one right here. Look at like, you know how some of them are bumpy? <laughs> it's got all the bumps. All the bumps and the sunflowers are gorgeous. We are going to use one of each and I I already snuck one away. I had to, I couldn't wait you guys. They sent us to this and I'm like, I cannot wait a week and a half or a week to go live and, and try this stuff out for the first time. I wanted to try these ones out. They are so easy to use, you guys. So I snuck one out already on this sheet, but look at these sunflowers. Look at the colors and the detail, even, even on the leaves. And I love these little sprigs right here because you can mix and match them. Okay, enough, enough. Let's play. Let's, um, you can ask all your questions if you want to in the comments the essential stencil staff they are here thank you for doing that they are always here to help answer questions because while we're creating we may not see the questions that you have so watch the comments because they're there answering comment questions and pinning things that are important into the comments for you guys hey jessica from pa she says she's so excited about the transfers tuned in last night for the first time in a while ah uh, you don't want to miss anything jessica or any of you make sure you get on the essential stencil email list number one Go to the site, essentialstencil.com. Sign up for the email list so that you're getting these notifications about pre-orders and special um, discounts and all that jazz. Every week on Sunday, you will get a message that will tell you the live schedule of the brand ambassadors for the week here on Facebook. And um, the other thing, what was the other thing I was going to mention? And, oh, I don't know. Maybe it'll come to me. It's okay. Let's get creating. So I want to... I'm going to work on a tiered tray today. We're going to put together a couple of things that will go really nicely in a tiered tray. These are fantastic. The first thing that I have for you guys, this little house cutout, it's like a blocky piece of wood, house cutout, stands up on its own. We are going to transfer one of these designs on here, but I'm going to first paint it so that it's ready to go. Um, so let's get started. Let's just do this thing. Wait a minute. I'm looking for a rag because... I was sanding this a little bit, like the, the minute before we went live, and um, I got a little oh, wood on my table, and I don't want that in my paint. Um, no, you know what? So, Sue, do you need to put a top coat on the paint before you apply the transfer? Uh, you know, no. If you've been watching, and I, I specifically watched how Amanda, Melissa, and Sharon were using these this week, and it didn't look like to me they did. They painted, then they transfer right on, and that's what I'm going to do. I, other companies who have these products suggest that you do put a water-based top coat on beforehand, but it works without. So my thought is that you experiment on small pieces of scrap wood or small projects. Try it twice. You can give one to a girlfriend if you have a duplicate, right? So try it twice, one with a top coat, one without, and then you'll know which you prefer. Today, I don't plan on top coating. So there you go. I am going to use 
um, this lovely design right here. And what I'm trying to figure out, so first of all, the paper that you get it on, you can cut apart. That's what I did here to get this little sunflower design off of here. I cut it. It makes it easier for placement. Um, and then two, the other thing is once you cut them out, and we're going to talk about the anatomy of these things here in a second. Oh, I love teaching you guys. I get super passionate about it. Once you cut it out, we can put this aside and then you can figure out much more easily, is this going to fit on my little house? Why? Yes, it's going to fit perfectly. And it's going to give me some room up here for something, which I grabbed one of the little stencil sets that has some fall sayings on it. And I have this little happy fall, y'all. And I want to see... I'm gonna be able to fit all of this on here, the happy fall y'all plus the transfer. So let's see if that's any better for you. Um, so that's what my plan is, is to do both. So once you cut it out, then you can play with it. Now the anatomy of these things, there's a backing sheet, that's the white sheet. There's a top sheet, it's clear. Oh, if I can get it separated. And I wanna show you something, it's clear. It's thick and it's clear. Okay, see that? That, you can hear this. Listen, 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 listen close. That's what the design is stuck to, is this clear sheet. Now, Melissa mentioned this, and this is really good to know. You can touch the parts where the transfer design is not, okay? And it will not stick. If I put my finger where the design is, my finger's gonna stick to it and so will anything else that gets, cause it's an adhesive. So don't touch the decorative part until you're ready. If I take this off of the backing sheet and I put it on my table, it's gonna stick to the table a little bit and you may lose part of your design. So keep the backer on it for as long as possible. Keep the backer on it. And when you do peel it off, just, oh, see it? Some of it's stuck to, I put it on the wrong side. <gasps> Put it on the wrong side. There's a shiny side and there's a matte side. You, I think you want to put it on the, yeah, you want to put it on the shiny side. Um, I lost just a little bit of it. See right there? It'll stick. See that little spot? That's part of my little, my little leaf there. It'll stick to anything. So be very careful. They're not hard to work with. It's just good to know the anatomy of this thing so you know how to use it, okay? Let's get painting with this thing. Oh, I was going to decide what color paint. So this is gonna go on here and I'm trying to decide base color of yellow. You guys vote in the comments. I'm thinking this like mustardy yellow or I have this color, which is like a really pretty mauve pink. Hmm. I'm thinking mustardy yellow, maybe with some mauve mixed in. Let's try it. You tell me what you would do. Mauve, mustard yellow or both. I don't know, you tell me, <laughs> you tell me. I'd love to know. I love asking you guys what you think you would do. Yes, it's $15.95. Thank you for putting that in there. See Essential Stencil. They're right in there with the comments, you guys. So if you can, you know, watch the comments, you'll learn a lot. The new Rub-On Stencils are $15.95 for two sheets. They're 12 by 16 and you get lots of designs on each two sheets. And there are four different packs to choose from or just pre-order the whole bundle of all four and get 15% off that bundle, okay? I'm going right on my wood because I'm excited and um, ain't nobody got time for, I'm sure I'm gonna have to find a, a a palette, like a, a surface to put my paint on when I stencil, but I'm just too excited. This is a gorge color. Oh, I got a paint booger. See it right there? Those little crusties that come off your paint bottle, I call them paint boogers, <laughs> just because I can't think of what else to call them sometimes. <laughs> oh, it's a pretty color. I think I like this. I may work in some of that mauve on the edges. Why not? To kind of frame it a little. Let's see. Well, let's just see. And then, um, Maybe I'll use that mauve to stencil in the words, happy fall, y'all. Why not? I think brown would go really well, too, just like a plain brown. See how fast that was? Easy breezy. Okay, while it's still wet is a good idea. If you want to bring in another color and do some blending, do it while it's still wet because then you can blend. If you don't, you're dry brushing it or you're brushing it over the top. So let's see what happens. I can always go back over it. If I just add a little bit... It's too little, <laughs> you can hardly see it. If I just add a little bit of this to the edges, just kind of frame it out, I don't know. We're playing, we're creating. We're getting creative girls, guys and girls. Are there any guys with us today? I assume 
generally. Listen, my business, The Comfy Nest with Grace, generally it's the Crafty Chicks who hang out with me and that's what we call each other. <laughs> my little community is the Crafty Chicks Club um, because it's the comfy nest and we all hang out at the nest, get it, at the coop. Um, so generally I hang out with the ladies, but there may be some men out there. So tell us if you're here, gentlemen, we wanna know. Get introduced in your crafty self to us. We want to find you and meet you and know you. All right, look at that. Just gave it a little bit of outlining. I'm gonna put this down. I know it's easier for you to see if I hold it up. Hey, wait a minute, I got a new light. Let's try it. I forgot about this light. Ooh, I know that it's easier for you if I, if I hold it up, but for me to get the look that I'm looking for, my paint is already dry, so I'm gonna add some more of the yellow paint here in the middle so that I can blend that pink, that, that mauve color a little bit more on the edges, okay? I don't know what I'm doing here. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't really have a plan. I was just thinking maybe I could get some of that mauve on here and blend it in so that the colors are coordinated. That way when I come in and I use the mauve for the stenciling, they're, um, it's like super coordinated. You know what I mean? I wanted it to be a little more, a uh, little more, a little bit more than I had there. So I'm just coming in and adding a little bit more. It's just so much easier when your paint is wet to blend these colors. I'm going just for like a really soft outline. And I don't mind if it gets in the middle, but I really wanna concentrate that color on the outside edges. I don't know why, just because that's what I thought would be pretty. <laughs> I, I just play, you guys. I just really like to play when I create. Um, discover new things, discover new techniques, try new things, do things differently so I don't get bored. Oh, I like it. I might just put a little some more streak in the middle, like that. I don't know, why not? Listen, I always say, you do you. Listen, girls, when you're creating, guys and girls, when you're creating, anything goes, man. Do what you want. All right, we're going to put this aside, but we probably will use this again for the color of the words. I'll put that aside because I need to dry this. It's really important that this surface is dry before we go on and add anything. Mm, all my craft match just fell. That's okay. All right, let's see some comments. Oh, Wendy says, hey, Wendy. There's a crafty chick in the house. Okay, this is feeling really hot. Woo, hot. Um, there's Miss Wendy Perry. Um, Caprice says mauve. Barbara says mix. Do you guys like the mix? I did a little mustard yellow, a little bit of the mauve on the outside. Yay, Danelle just got her order in. Danelle, I hope you use my code, the comfy nest. I super appreciate it. Well, we all appreciate it. Whichever code you used, Every single one, my iPad just fell, every single one of us um, ambassadors, we appreciate you guys for using our codes. So please, yes, use them. It helps us, it helps you. Ah, thanks, Lori. She says, I love your personality. Listen, can you tell I get excited? <laughs> I get so excited. All right, this is feel feeling a little bit damp. I'm not gonna say the word moist because I hate that word. Anybody else with me? <gasps> I hate that word moist. <laughs> if there was a down button, I'd say, give me the thumbs up, but give give, the, give me the thumbs down, but give me the thumbs up if you're with me. I hate that word moist. <laughs> My dad used to say, well, this is a really moist cake. And I'd be like, I don't wanna eat it anymore. I don't know why, but I'd never like that word. It still feels a little bit damp. So I'm gonna move on to the second thing that we're gonna do. Give this a little more time to cure or dry because we're gonna put that pumpkin on there, but I wanted to show you something super fun. Are you ready? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If you're not paying attention, get that cup of coffee poured and get over here back to the screen and take a look because I'm gonna show you something super fun and incredibly easy that you can do. And this would make tremendous Christmas gifts. Tremendous, now you heard me. Um, I have these things literally all over my house. Uh, all right, I don't have any in the basement because my two boys have their bedrooms down there. And my husband and I, there's another like living room and, and, and 
a bathroom for the kids downstairs. So our house, the three bedroom, two of the bedrooms are downstairs. That's where my boys, they're 14 and 16. That's their space. So I don't have these downstairs because they are a little bit like a train wreck sometimes. Um, they still do Nerf gun wars and pillow fights with their friends when they come over. And we find stuff like rubber bands and snack packages like everywhere downstairs, Coke cans, like you name it. It's just kind of like, it's like the early phases of a bachelor pad down in my basement. So I don't have these there, but I have these, you know, these little electric candles. And this one has that moving flame. I have them all over my house, upstairs, everywhere. Like I love them. Most of them now come with a timer. So you put the batteries in and the timer will turn it on like at the same time every day. So for us, it's about 8, 8 p.m. They go on and about, you can set it, four, four hours, six hours, eight hours later, they'll go off automatically. I use um, re rechargeable batteries in them because I have so many of them and I'm constantly recharging batteries. I love these things and we can transfer these designs on these candles. What? You can do it on regular candles too, but because regular candles literally burn down the wax, you will eventually lose the design. The, go with these, they're so much more economical. So we are gonna pick something, and I think I'm gonna go with the sunflower, you guys. I think, I think, I'm gonna go with the sunflower, and we're gonna put it on this, we, we're gonna put it on here. So the first thing I do, I usually, this one has a high and a low end, and the low is usually what's sitting forward on this tiered tray that I have. This is usually on my tiered tray. So I'm gonna put the design on the forward part of it, which is shorter. So before I pick which one, I'm gonna kind of look at these and decide, like, will this fit? This one's rather big for this candle, so I will lose part of it. This one though, I think this one will fit really well. So I'm gonna use this one, and I'm gonna show you something. I think I'm gonna use that one and another one we will try to layer here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut out the one that I wanna use. We're cutting both layers, the backing and the sticky part out. So now I have just this to work with. It makes it a lot easier to figure out, is this gonna fit? It is gonna fit. Um, I may just lose the very bottom of that stem, but here's what I was thinking. I'm gonna go over here for a minute. I'll be right back. Hold on. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm back. This is the stencil. This is the transfer that I used last night just to like, oh, I got to try. I got to see that this is working. Look, you guys. So I basically use the same flower. It's going the other direction. So you get two of them. One goes one way, one goes the other. I'm going to use this on here. These candles are all in my living room. So they'll be coordinated. See, great Christmas gift. You can buy these things in like a set of 20 and you don't have to keep them all for yourself. You could design a few of them and put them in a like a little gift basket for your sister or your mom or your neighbor or the teacher or whoever. Because I don't want this one to look exactly like that one. It's just a mirror image. I'm going to add to it some of these other ones, but let's get this first one on here and then we'll decide what else to put on here with it. I'm gonna put it a little bit. See, here's the lowest part of my candle. I'm gonna put a little bit to the left. You get your little stick ready that comes with it. You carefully peel off the backing. It's so exciting, you guys. Alisa says, I have lots of flameless candles that are like that. Alisa, and anybody else, who else has these candles? And do you like the idea of adding these designs to them? Now, I, <laughs> Candace says, I love that idea for the transfers on the candle, and I like your Medora shirt. Candace, where are you from? Not a lot of people have heard of Medora, North Dakota. It's one of my favorite little places to go with my family. We don't go every year, but we really like to go. We did, my uh, my husband couldn't go this year, but we went to Medora. It's a great town in North Dakota. Um, it's just great. You guys look it up, it's fabulous. It's really family oriented. It's um, a great place to go with your kids in the Badlands of North Dakota and they have lots of fun things to do. Okay, can you see yourself doing this? You peel it off, don't touch the decorative part. You can touch the edges, don't touch the decorative part though. Okay, and hover it over what you wanna put it on. It's see-through, so it makes it easy. I'm gonna hover it over and decide which way do I want and where do I, I'm gonna put it a little bit to the left because I'm gonna take one of those other flowers and put it on the other side. I'm putting it a little bit to the left. Once you put it down, girls, guys and girls, you gotta commit. So I'm gonna put it down. Whoops, it didn't stick, thankfully. 
Now this isn't coming off. Like you don't have to top coat it, but it's not gonna come off. You don't have to worry about it peeling off if you apply it well. So now I'm going to just apply a little pressure with my hands. Okay, and so you can see it's already stuck on there, but we gotta really stick it on there. Now I'm gonna zoom you in because I want you to be able to see the application part of this because I still have that paper backing on, the paper, the, the top part of the paper. I'm gonna start right here and I want you to really watch what happens right here. I'm gonna do it this way rather than this way. I'm doing it on a soft wax um, surface. So I don't want to like make little lines, little grooves in my wax. So I'm gonna do it this way so it's a little less harsh. And I want you to see something. Now, if I start to peel this back, part of it is stuck and part of it is not. Like I missed some parts. So when you're applying this, don't peel this off like immediately. <laughs> Test it. I, I'm missing, I'm gonna try to show you this without losing my place. See on the, on the paper, you can see there's little bits of the flower still left on that paper. See that? I can still get that on my flower. I just need to place the paper back down and reapply some pressure on those two spots that I missed. And now look, voila, now it transferred, okay? So when you do this, do it slow, slowly, and you can peel it back slowly and gently and see what's stuck. And if it's not completely stuck, put it back down gently and just keep rubbing. It's a rub-on transfer. You rub it and it transfers onto whatever surface you want to transfer it on. I have a little bump right there in the wax. I can feel it on the stick. I can feel it on the stick. So maybe my kids hit it with something, probably, or they knocked it over on the table, probably. I come in all the time and these stinking candles are on the floor or they rolled underneath the ottoman or my kids are, they're rough and tumble boys for sure. Okay, peeling checking very gently checking to see did i oh nope see i'll show you missed part of it see part of it's not on that's okay very slowly put it back keep rubbing keep rubbing it's almost like those tattoos that you give the kids almost like that those those stick on rub on tattoos except you don't need the water okay it's going so i'm just going to keep and I wanna show you something else. Sometimes you can see on the paper, if you focus on this piece of paper, you can see that on this piece of paper, when I look at this design, right about here, this part of it's dark and this part of it's frosty. It's because this part of it hasn't been transferred with the stick, but this part has. It's not on the paper anymore. That's why it looks frosty. This part is still stuck to the paper. And you see that line where it's a little bit darker? Right here, there's that line. That's another good indicator. Like as you do this, you're gonna, you're gonna start recognizing it the more and more you do it. That's another good indicator that, oops, I haven't, I haven't finished that part yet of this transfer. I'm gonna quickly, I'm going really slow because I want you to see everything. Um, and this is when we're teaching you how to use these and showing you how easy this is to do. The kids could do this with you guys. You guys could make greeting cards and gift bags for Christmas or if you're having a fall party or something you want to make, you could buy like paper bags for um, get little gifts that you give to everybody for the holidays and transfer these onto paper bags. There's just greeting cards, so many tags. There's so many options for it. Okay. I rubbed most of it, but I'm gonna just check. We're just gonna check and see. Is it truly, and I'm holding very strongly with this finger because I don't wanna lose my place just in case I missed a spot. Okay, the only thing so far that I can see that I missed is the top of the leaf right there. It's stuck right there. Would it be the end of the world if I missed it? Probably not, but I'm gonna stick it on because I can. There, now it's on. Now, I just have to check the bottom part where my finger is. So I'm gonna flip this around I'm gonna hold this strongly, and now I'm gonna peel this back. And the only thing that I missed here is the bottom of the stem. You can see, see how this is all frosty? 
I missed that bottom of the stem. So if I want, oh, and it moved on me, it budged, but it's okay, look at it, it budged. I missed the bottom of the stem, which is like at the very bottom. It's not a problem. Put it back on. If you have a steady hand and you haven't had 12 cups of coffee, you put it back on and I can still rub that on there. And actually, this probably would rub right around to the bottom if you wanted it to go onto the bottom or the side of your project. Yep, I got it to go on the on to the way bottom. Oh, wait, wait, which way do I have to go? Way bottom, and I actually got it on the bottom of the candle. You guys, <gasps> what? Brilliant, right? So let me get you back to normal. I wanted to show you a close up so you can see exactly how it's used. Let's add, and I'm, I'll do this a little quicker so you're not here all day with me. Because I, I could spend all day hanging out with you guys, but I'm sure you got other things to do. Like go and using my code, the company nest, to order <laughs> so that you get your discount. Jolene says, I love this. I know. Hey, Connie in North Carolina. Okay, so what? Talk to me in the comments. Talk to each other in the comments. This can get thrown out now. We're done with that. This can get thrown out. That's the other thing. These are these are consumables. So we're gonna use it once. It's gonna get thrown out. My garbage is gone. The, the, the floor has become my garbage. Um, these are consumables. So you're going to use them up, throw out what you had because it's all gone, and then go order some more so that you can create more stuff. Let's grab another flower. I think I'm gonna try to add that, maybe that white flower, which is so pretty. And I have I have two of them. One goes one direction and one goes the other way. They're the same flower, but they go two different directions, so you have a choice of which way. I think I'm going to make this one go opposite. I'm going to make it go opposite, and there's some greenery I might use here. Hold on. Let's cut this one out because I'm going to go do the one that's going opposite. All right. So this one may be here, and then I'm gonna layer in here one of these like just leaves of greenery because they match. These ones might be too big, but this one is nice and dainty and pretty. And maybe, maybe, I should have put it down first, but I didn't. So I can use part of it. I'm just, I'm doing a little planning here. Like if I put this here, Oh, how about these have some greenery and they're super pretty. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm talking to myself. You guys, if you weren't here, I would talk to myself just the same. I absolutely love these florals. I think they're really dainty and pretty and I'm gonna stick them in here. Yeah, 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 baby, I am. <laughs> you got, I might have to get rid of the bottom of it because if I want to do this too, it's going to get really full. Eek, I can't decide. Let's do this one first, and then we'll decide on the other one. I don't know. Pulling it apart. There's my little transfer. So pretty, so pretty. I'm going to stick it here, and then I might put a few of those other sprigs in here. I'm looking at spacing. All right, once you, get, once you get it on there, you're committed. Now start, it's called burnishing. Now start burnishing that transfer design on there. Um, essential stencil. I hope you're listening to me. They are. They're, and, and you guys, I, we want it all. <laughs> we want it all. We want, we want florals. We want um, steampunk. We want, uh, like, patterns we want christmas we want santa claus we want gnomes we want it all right we want letters we want just get on the rub on train and just bring it all because we're gonna eat this stuff up i missed just a piece of this flower up here now this flower is white and i'm doing it like on an ivory colored candle and you guys look at the 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 prettiness the prettiness okay this one's done Garbage, garbage, look, 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 lookity look. There's the front of my candle, like right here. Lookity look, how pretty. See, I think right in here I could use something little and these littles might just be perfect. And I don't have to use the whole thing, right? We can just use part of it. 
I'm going to, oh yes, gnomes, Brenda says. Uh, Christine, did, did I get my notification? Christine, are you on my text BFF alert? I did send one out to my text BFFs. Those of you that are on my alert system, the number's up there in the corner. The words would be, yeah, phrases and words would be awesome. <laughs> Lori says, tell them, Grace. <laughs> Christmas. Um, I'm not going to put anything. Someone's asking me about, um, who was it? It went by so fast. Connie, maybe. Are you putting a spray on the top of the candle? I'm not putting anything. These will sit, this will be just fine in my house. I started to say, it's not a real candle. It's an electronic candle, so it's not going to burn down. I don't have to worry about this burning. I actually would not use this on a regular flame candle because I don't, it's, it's, I don't know if that's a plastic or what it is that the adhesive is, the transfer itself. And I would, I would fear fire. Like I just wouldn't do it. But on these electric candles, it's totally fine. And I don't need to coat it with anything. It's going to stay on there just fine. Okay. I'm going to, I know I said like, leave it on here until you decide. Because I can see through this, I'm going to just hover it over and get a feel for where, if I put this here, what am I getting and, and how is it going to look? I'm going to overlay it. I'm going to do it. I am, I am. But I want to salvage because there's a part of this that I'm not going to use. But that I could use somewhere else because I'm super frugal. So I'm going to cut this in half. I'll show you. This little part, I'm not going to throw that out because maybe I can use that sprig it out somewhere else. But I am going to use the rest of this. And I'm going to layer it in between these two flowers. Because you can because we can, why not? Okay, we still have to do our little house, but it's gonna be gorge. Now, because I did these two first and this one last, this is gonna be overlay. It's gonna be on top of the other two. So when you're doing this placement, actually, maybe I'll go like this a little bit. Um, when you're doing this placement, just think through like what's gonna be on top of what. It can look really extremely realistic because you can transfer right on top of another transfer and they just overlay on top of each other. So it's gonna look like a real, like like in nature, your flowers don't, they're not gonna stand all in a line, each single flower. They kind of intertwine with each other and some are in front of others and that's the beauty of nature. Um, oh, I missed one part of that leaf. I missed this whole top of my flower. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so excited. I think I'm going fast. So see how slow I'm pulling up the paper, the plastic that covers it, because I don't want to lose my spot just in case I miss something. I didn't miss anything. I got the whole thing off there. That's garbage. And look, now I overlaid those little ones in between. Oh my gosh, see how much more realistic? And let's just use it. This would have been off the candle with the way I position that, but let's use it somewhere in here. Let's just add it to the bottom. Why not? That way it doesn't get lost in the shuffle. Um, I'm just gonna stick it in here and we're gonna have a little more greenery showing. <laughs> I don't wanna lose it, why not? It's too exciting. We're gonna put it like this, I think. Mm, actually, it's gonna be just like, <laughs> I'm just gonna use the two leaves. I'm not gonna use the stem because if I use the stem, it's like, where's the rest of the flower? Maybe it got cut off, maybe the dog ate it, I don't know. But let's just grab these two leaves off of this stem and put them on there. I'm gonna cut off the stem, that way I don't waste. And I'll just use these two leaves and we'll just add it to, I'm gonna add it, I'll show you, between this flower and this flower in here, I'm gonna add it in there. Just It's gonna just give more, more, more. It's just giving more. It's, so, it's such a little easy thing to do. I'm telling you, the kids can do this. And there, now I just put it right there. It just gave us more, more color. The colors on those two leaves are really deep and dark. Guys, are you kidding me with how gorgeous that is? I, I can't. I can't even, the, the possibilities. All right, let's go to our little house. Again, top coat. You can top coat if you want to, but listen, unless it's going outside or 
If it's a surface that's going to get a lot of handling, meaning it's a tabletop and your glass is going to be on it and off it, and someone's going to put the remote on it and pick it up, put something down, pick it up, then you want a top coat because you just don't know what's going to nick up your design. But if it's something like this that's sitting on a shelf that anyone, no one really hardly ever touches, it's going to be fine all by itself. You don't need to worry about top coating. This, I'm not going to need to worry about top coating because it's going to be on my um, tiered tray, which we are going to put together at the end here so stay tuned all right this one is so gorgeous i can't even handle it but it, it's bigger than my it's bigger than i'm gonna go up a little high the reason i do this i don't go um directly on the bottom of my design because it's going to be sitting on a tiered tray and the tiered tray has a lip so i don't want the pumpkin any part of it to be lost i stick it on there and i start pressing without even without the stick and it's going to stick on there pretty darn good remember i told you it's going to stick to anything that it touches is it all the way stuck on there no we need to do that but what i wanted to show you is see how it's bigger than my house here and here i'm going to wrap that around i'm going to burnish this part i'm going to wrap it around and then i'm going to burnish that part even though i didn't paint the sides if I had thought this through, I would have painted the sides the same color, but I didn't. So just for the sake of demonstrating how it can wrap around, and I think this Melissa did this the other day too. Um, but let's start. I'm gonna just use the flat end. You can use this end. I prefer not to because I don't want I don't want it to have like a divot in the wood, particularly if you're doing it on something soft like a candle or soft wood. But it will burnish just fine. And in fact, you probably I this is the tool I use all the time in my crafting. You probably could use something like this. And I'm just pushing it into the wood. Now, I can check to see how well I did here. And what's going to happen is this part that's not burnished is going to tear from the rest of it. See? Some of it's stuck, some of it's not. Oh, that part didn't stick at all. Let's do it. The top parts did here and here, but not the middle. I didn't press hard enough. Let's see. Yeah, so see? I got some of it. Not all of it. Keep burnishing. You can use the side of this. You can use the tip of this for the really tiny little things. The tip probably works really well. This the side. You can use a credit card. Anything that's going to give you that soft push. Okay, now I'm going to check it and see. I got almost all of it on here. I've got almost all of it on there, but I want to do these sides. So keeping it in place, I'm going to fold this over and I'm holding that, that little thing. It's going to go all the way to the back, actually. Now, my sides of this little wood house, and these are available on my website, comfynestwithgrace.com. They're part of a bundle, uh, but really not expensive. And um, you could get them there. You could have, I could have done this double sided and painted both sides, but I didn't. So now I've got that side done. I'm going to carefully slide this because I want to get the other side done. So this is completely wrapped around and it's on this side, but now I got to do this side. I'm going to wrap this around and burnish. Here's where this tip comes in handy because I have this little part that I'm trying to get it on. It's skinny, really skinny. It's not a big wide expanse like this flat part of the project. There, it's all done. It's all done. I'm going to peel back slowly, make sure. See, I'm not like ripping it off real fast. Peel back slowly, holding it in one place just to make sure you got everything. It's all off. Garbage. What? What? Look at that. I love it. Double sided tiered tray stuff. How fun is that? Let's get the happy fall, y'all. Do you think I should put it on here? I kind of like it just the way it is, you guys. Oh, the other thing is, hang tight. I just had a piece of that just come up just a little. What you can do is just take that plastic film and give it a final little wipe down without the film on it to make sure, because it's going to glide really easily. And, and it's not your fingers, so any oils on your fingers or anything like that, it's not going to get in the way. It's a nice, clean plastic film, and you can burnish it a little bit more like that and get it nice and smooth and evened out 
I like this one. I don't know. Would you add the words or leave it? <sighs> I can't decide. Add Happy Fall or leave it. Donna says, I'm glad you showed us it goes on multi surfaces. Like any, like seriously, I think it would go on anything. <laughs> <laughs> I think they would go on anything, but that'll be the fun. When you get your pack, you get two full sheets. If you buy one pack for $15.95, you get two full sheets of 12 by 16. Now both of mine are cut down, but you're going to get a 12 by 16 size with all the different elements on it that you can play with and try it on different things, Donna. So it is nice to know. And if you, like I said, if you get, if you pre-order today, you can pre-order from the app now at midnight, you can pre-order from the website. Don't worry, you're pre-ordering. They're not gonna get mailed out until the, like the first week in October. You're pre-ordering now, paying now. It'll get shipped out to you in October with everybody else's. Um, so don't worry about them running out. Just you know, place your order when you're ready. But if you do the whole bundle and you get all four packs, so you would get eight full sheets of 12 by 16, you're gonna get 15% off and then, use my code or one of the ambassadors codes my code is the comfy nest to get an additional 10 percent. okay someone says words someone says words you could just put fall cases that's a good idea and yvonne says it's cute by itself i love it just by itself oh d says words please oh a small messy bow i love that idea can we do it all can we do it all? I don't have. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it because you're asking me to. And so I would like to please you, my dears. Small. This is the smallest of the Essential Stencil brushes. They're fabulous. They have the branding on them. I love the blue tip. I love that the tip is small and chunky and it's got this round. This seems little. It is this nice round surface. It makes it easy to hold and manage the brush. Um, and the bristles are perfect for stenciling because they're stiff. They're not like a watercolor brush where if you grab a watercolor brush like this one, the bristles are not stiff. They're super soft and they move a lot. That's not the case with these. They're really stiff and that's what you want with a stencil brush. So they are, stencil brushes are different than regular brushes and the essential stencil ones are the bomb. <laughs> okay, I need a little piece of paper because we're just gonna use a little bit of paint here. And I'm going to offload on this little piece of paper and I, we are gonna do this. I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna do happy fall. I'm gonna leave y'all off because then maybe I can put a, um, maybe I can put a little bow as well. And this shouldn't take long at all because it's just happy. I'm, I'm gonna, you could tape, but I'm just being lazy and using my finger to mark off where the other letters are so I don't I don't accidentally stencil them. Okay, that part's done. Easy breezy. So this is the same color that I blended into my yellow mustard. Oh, you guys, has this been backwards the whole time? Hello, Gracie Crew. I'm waiting for Facebook to allow me to flip that so you guys can read it. It's thinking. While it's sinking, I wanna make sure this is dry on this side. Yes, it is. Oh, but my, my, my word happy has to be dry. It is. I can see, I can just see it. And then we're gonna do fall right here and then maybe we'll have room for a bow as well. Okay, we can do it all. All right, uh, Facebook, will you let me flip this now, friend? friend or there we go now you can read my shirt better i didn't even girls i was so excited about the stinking <laughs> transfers that i didn't even get all right i'm just eyeballing i know you see the top of my head right now and i apologize for that but i'm just i'm just eyeballing to make sure that they're kind of even little bitty stipples and i gotta use my finger to cover up the word happy so i don't get any part of that Little bit of paint, little bitty palette for putting my paint on, little bitty brush, little bitty transfer, and I'll show you the set that this comes from because if you wanna do little projects like this and add this phrase, yes, you're gonna want this set. This is the set that I'm using. Okay, it's called Fall Mini Tags and you get three of them, Sweet October, Happy fall, y'all. And then the third one says, 
Autumn Blessings. Okay, that's the set that I'm using because somebody's going to ask. All right, so we got that on there. And now we, we have room for a bow. And I'm going to do a little raffia bow because raffia is stinking cute. You guys, you would die if you saw my room. And then we're going to grab that tiered tray and I'm going to show you the tiered tray thing. But first, I'm going to show you the easiest way to make the easiest little bow with your raffia or your jute. Okie dokie, schmoky. You know this big mess that you get? And it is. People are like, I don't like raffia. It's a mess to work with. I highly agree. <laughs> but I'm going to show you a really easy way to do this. Pull out your raffia and grab two. We only need a tiny little bow. We're not doing a whole lot here. Even one string will do. And we're going to do this like little finger bow. So you use the width of your finger to figure out how big the bow is. So if I use three fingers, that's about how wide my bow will be. And that'll be perfect for the top of this house. So I start out with my three fingers and I have a tail. So you want to leave this out. And then you take the rest of it and you wrap it around your three fingers until you have a tail on this other side. So see, I went too far. I need a tail on this side too. Okay, so we have most of it wrapped around my three fingers. We got a tail here and a tail there. We slip it off. And then this oval becomes your bow and you're gonna cinch it in the middle and you can use jute or you can just use another piece of raffia to tie it in the middle of that oval. Now listen, when you, <laughs> I do this all the time. I get real aggressive with my tying and I like, I snap the raffia because I pull so hard. You don't have to pull super hard. You just don't. Raffia, it's going to stay together. And if you pull too, like you keep pulling, pulling really hard, it, it snaps on me all the time. That's how I know. So just make a little knot in the middle. This is a little challenging to do with this raffia because it's splintering in like a gazillion pieces. But the nice thing about raffia is it doesn't matter because your raffia, it's, it's messy anyway. So here are the two tails that I had. Here's the center of my bow, and then here's like all the parts that you can then pull pull apart to make like the loops of your bow. And it's messy and cute. It's messy, cute, rustic. Um, we can cut those tails down once we get it on, but see that that's, who suggested this? Whoever it was is super smart. I think it was Yvonne, was it Yvonne? Oh, okay, I don't, I can't remember. So Yvonne, um, whoever suggested it, please don't be offended that if I don't remember. Now I do think, so this can all just get put away. See how easy that was? Doesn't have to be a mess. Doesn't have to be hard. But I was thinking now that it's on here, I almost want something else. Cause look how cute you guys. We're gonna cut these down. I'm waiting for my hot glue gun to, let's cut these stinkers down a little bit. I don't mind if they hang down a little bit, but I don't want them covering up my pretty pumpkins. So more like that. And actually, if you wanted to get rid of them completely, you could because you don't want them covering up your words either. Or put it a little higher so that you can see the happy fall. Okay. Let's see if it's hot yet. Come on, baby doll. All right. It's not. We're going to get the tiered tray. I'm going to start putting this stuff together for you and show you how coordinated and cute this can all be. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Dun, 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 dun. Here's my tiered tray. Move over, happy fall. Now hold on, ladies and gentlemen. What I usually do is I grab a little basket, right? And I go around and I find the stuff that might fit on my tiered tray. The little things that I have around the house or that you've got grabbed from Hobby Lobby or the Dollar Tree or wherever. And what we usually want to have is some hard surfaces, like decorative items, and some soft ones. So soft, generally, greenery is really good for that. And um, i got to cut my tags off. These are from Walmart. They're just the eucalyptus greenery. I think you get the three sprigs for like $3 or something. They're not expensive at all. So you can separate them. So those will be the soft part to soften it up. And then um, you just want to have other stuff on hand. Like I have this little rustic bird that I love that I usually have in the front of my tiered tray. I want to make sure that you guys can see this. Okay, and then we start layering. So I usually have the tall candle up top here. Um, I could put, like, this is the pumpkin that we made. This was a Dollar Tree pumpkin that we redid on Saturday on my page. Um, and I'm doing a giveaway. I made two of these. 
Where's the other one? I have a teal one and, and the olive one, and I'm giving one of them away in my free group, the Crafty Chicks Club. Um, if you go in the announcements tab, you can just enter to win there. But like that could go up front with this. Let's see. I want to get my house in here because that's going to be like the main thing. So let's get this little, there it is. There's my glue. Get the raffia on the little house. Oh, I love this. I don't usually like take things to this level with like, taking you to this extent, like, okay, now here's where you can use it in your tear tray, but it is super fun to do. Here's the little house. It fits perfectly in my tiered tray. So I can do that. And then see back here is a little empty. I have um, that other candle still. Let's see if I light it up, are you guys gonna be able to see this? I have that other candle. And you know, the design isn't it's gonna, not gonna show to you perfectly from where you are, but you can still see it. See all those gorgeous designs? And then we start pulling in some of this soft stuff in the back, and these are bendable, right? So I usually bend them so that I can use this to prop it up like this, if you want it to be propped up in the back, and I can lean it in here so that we have some soft stuff poking through. Right, and then let's do one of those up top and I usually just lay it here. And actually I'm gonna lay it, if I have this here and this here, let's go this way with it so that it's opposite this green. You can use whatever you have on hand, like whatever you have on hand. I don't wanna hide my little sunflower. I want that to be showing. So you can drape that off the edge there. It depends on where it is in your house, right? And what you're gonna be able to fit in here. Um, what else do I have? Oh, I have this. I, I love this too. This is like just one of those tiny little baskets. I got this from Hobby Lobby, I believe, last season. It was $3.99. I probably got it for 40% off, but it was $3.99 at Hobby Lobby. And this makes a really good backdrop too, if you can get it to prop somewhere. Let's see. Well, I have this here now, so I probably don't need it, but it's, it just makes a really cute backdrop just to fill in the space for your eye. And all I did was lay that pumpkin over the lip of it and it's staying on its own. Now listen, if you don't have Nerf gun wars going on in your house, this will stay on its own. The other thing, we created these in the Craft Therapy Club, one of my paid membership groups. Um, this was one of the workshops um, that's in that group available to those members and you, like these can be fun to like drape around. So I'll like weave them so that you have that. So just like, up, and this actually, this sits on a little table in my living room. So I could pull that down off onto the table if you wanted to, or you can just wrap it around. The bird could even, if I move the house back, I could keep the beads and lose the medallion and just have the bird kind of perched there on the medallion. That lifts him up a little bit. Oh my gosh, you guys, what do you think? Right, look at these sunflowers. Look at the pumpkins. They're just so beautiful, you guys. So beautiful. Oh, I didn't light this candle. I, it, it does have battery. I just recharged all my batteries so we can see. They are so pretty. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, the transfers get your pre-order in so that yours come to you the beginning of October and then start thinking. These candles, you can get them at Walmart, you can get them at Target, you can get them on Amazon and you can buy packs of them. Like on Amazon, you can buy packs of like 20. Um, but some of them come with a remote control, some of them don't, some have all the features of the timers, but you can get them really simply, Better Homes and Garden at Walmart, and they just have that little Flip on them, what a great little gift. Whoa, what a great little gift for somebody. What a great little gift, these candles for somebody this season. All right, you guys, I am so excited to share all this with you. Go place your order, use the code The Comfy Nest or any of the ambassador codes. Um, the app you can do now, at midnight you'll be able to order from the website. Oh my gosh, I missed so many comments. Mary, Mary Matt Foot. she says, I love these new rub-on stencils. Let's see who else. I always forget to dry before doing the second word. Oh, I know, Joyce. I know, Joyce. I get stuck with that sometimes too. Um, let's see. 
Mary says, beautiful. Donna's giving me some clapping. Yay, just ordered the transfers and I can't wait. Carla, me too. Me too. I need them all. I need them all. Joyce loves making the messy bows. They just make it so easy and so pretty. And what it just was, you know, the stencil mixed with the transfer mixed with a little messy bow. And there you have a super cute little surface that would fit on a little shelf. It would fit on a buffet. It would fit so many, on your mantle, so many places. So many places. All right, let's see. We've got some winners. We've got Patricia Kent Baxter. You just want a set of stencils. Woohoo! We got Suzanne Atrans Milhomans. You just want a set of stencils. And Terry Broyles. Terry, Suzanne, and Patricia, congratulations. You just want a set of stencils. Thanks for joining us here at Essential Stencil. I'd be honored if you come on over, if you enjoyed hanging out with me today, come on over to the Comfy Nest with Grace. Like and follow my page. Um, get on my texting service if you want to, and we'll start to like incorporate you in our little community of Crafty Chicks. I'm just honored to be here and to share this fun new product line with you guys. Go have some fun creating some pretty things for you and your family. Have a blessed day. Until next Thursday, or if you see me on the Comfy Nest page, bye.